Hey, 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 DJ Mikey, Mike in Direct Sound, and we are doing a quick video. Hey, we just got back from the Antelope Valley Bridal Show, and uh, there was some great stuff there, had some great contacts with some clients. Uh, it, I didn't book anything this uh, for this event. Usually I book a one or two events, but um, for some reason, the where I was set up in the facility, I didn't get a lot of traffic down my corridor, for, and I went to a couple different corridors, and they were jam-packed. So unfortunately, not good traffic flow, but um, I think that's just, you know, the way the fish swim, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, not trying to call clients fish, but uh, just the way the, the event flowed. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to request a different area next time or a different size booth. Uh, I tried the concept of opening my booth up and making it approachable, um, although I have some issues with that. Um, so just something to think about as a bridal show, um, if you're thinking about doing bridal shows. So in the past, I've set a table up with some cards and, and kind of, you know, speakers and stuff in the background. And this time I tried to open up the booth, but I only had a 10 by 10 foot booth. I had two vertical trusses on the side. And I'll show you some video here in just a few minutes and maybe a picture or two. Um, it looked really nice, but if you do not have a 10 by 20 booth or something of a little bit wider, you're going to block the booth like a table would when you're standing there waiting for a client. Now the venue or the bridal show people don't like you standing on the hallways or the aisleways. You kind of have to stay in your booth area. So I would recommend getting a larger booth if you can afford it. If you want to try this open booth concept, um, because it was a little intimidating. It's almost like I was blocking the booth, like for people not to go through. So I would suggest a little bit wider booth, maybe a podium style table, a tall table up front. Uh, to where people could just that didn't want to speak with you can actually grab a card and get some of your information without being intimidated by the DJ or the sales approach and uh, go from there. Uh, but take a look at the booth. I know a lot of people just do 10 by 10s and sometimes that's the only thing available at some of these events. So uh, my cards look great. The, the folders were very convenient with a, I had brought a price list for a bridal show special. Um, and uh, the graphics in there were really helpful. Uh, I think it worked out really well for a bridal show. It just didn't get a lot of traffic for myself. Now, fortunately, this bridal show gives you their email address and their name and contact. So I think I'm going to do a good email blast uh, following up this bridal show for the clients that I missed. They didn't get an opportunity to talk to. So take a look at the bridal show pictures in a little video. I did the vertical uh, sign spinning uh I replaced my mirror balls and I put signs up there. Worked really good, and uh, but you know, like I said, it didn't draw a lot of attention. But I guess it dropped more of attention than if I didn't have it. Uh, also, uh, one thing is I noticed, and I was doing some research as I was standing there, um, looking at the clients' reactions to the different booths in my area. Now I noticed that they do not read anything. So if you have something on a sign, make it clean and simple. Okay, really, really clean and simple. I think the thing that's gonna attract you clients if they want a DJ, put big bold DJ. Okay, that'll get them there. Uh, lighting, photo booth, you know, something big. Okay, then direct sound entertainment, you know, something easy, really easy on the eyes though. My six foot banners in the front, I have a little saying or a little scripture on the front. Nobody read that, and I was watching if they read it. Now they didn't. But I did put some bullet point keywords down on my banner, and I was able to quickly direct them to the bullet points. Here, it's elegant, it's professional, it's it's beautiful, whatever the keywords happen to be on the, on the particular banner. So use a tool for you to use as a guide and see, hey, these are like our mission statement. These things are what we try to do. That worked really well. I got good response from that. So didn't, they didn't read anything, that's for sure. It was hard, to, and I tried to, you know, I put wedding DJ, um, and, and that the focus was there. It still didn't quite get it. They'd sit there and look, and what, what do they do? Pretty pictures, but they don't know if those are your pictures or not, because you haven't had a chance to explain that those are your pictures. So, um, just some tips from DJ Mikey Mike. Bridal show, first one this season. I have another little small one in February. And um, we'll try to do some more email blasts and some more marketing. Try to jump some business. 
uh, stay on top and uh, definitely we're cutting edge over the other uh, DJs in my area um, I thought we I did a great job at the booth um, a lot of I'm <laughs> sorry to say but there was a lot of spin and puke DJs there they had their their speakers and their videos and their everything going and, and everything's wah! it was it was really crazy um, I did see that draw attention in some cases uh, good and bad uh, one DJ had uh, other vendors in the area coming up and complaining because they couldn't talk to their clients. So I chose not to put even hook up my speakers and I did put them in my bridal booth because I wanted to be a DJ. And we are DJs and speakers represent music and DJs. So I want I put those in there for a statement and I put them in black against a white background for make them to make them pop. Had some comments on Facebook, "Hey, I'd lose the speakers. I'm a DJ. DJ Mikey Mike. I'm a DJ." I do great lighting, but I'm a DJ. For 35 years, bam, I'm a DJ. I know how to do it, okay? I focus on these YouTube videos on lighting because I'm passionate about lighting, but DJing is second nature to me. I love it, okay? So I'm a DJ, and I think speakers really drive home that point to a client or to a somebody that walks by quickly, bang. Their speakers must be something with music. Hey, direct sound must be something music. DJ, wedding DJ, uh, maybe he's a DJ. Yeah. So anyway, um, you know, it's it. Marketing is a really tough, uh, a tough avenue. I'm still learning, and I've been doing this a long time. Okay. Go to Mobile Beat. Go to uh, the Las Vegas DJ Show. Go to DJ Expo. Go to BPM. Go to Music Massa. Go to all these cool places that help you learn. Uh, about being a DJ slash lighting professional, about wedding professional, go to um, you know some of these organizations, uh, American DJ Association. Go to uh, Mace and uh, the Wed Guild and and all these guys doing some great uh, seminars out there. Amazing, amazing content. Take a little bit of everything out of there and build yourself up, and, and you will. Because I've been learning a lot from these guys. And you know, hey, this stuff costs money. And uh, Arnal, Arnaldo Offerman, he always says that. And you know, it's funny because I, I give away everything for free, and he takes a different approach. Which I'm not saying that uh, philanthropy, right? Okay, they give away their money to random people. I'm kind of like that. I'm giving away my money, although I'm not making it. I'm just nor have to give away. It's my knowledge that I'm giving away. Kind of philanthropy DJing, right? So I want to make the industry better, and, and those philanthropists want to make life better, I guess. Uh, other people want to make, 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 make money. I do too, but I think I'll get there eventually in other ways. Uh, that's just my style. But I do think, uh, just like Arnaldo said, nothing is for free. So uh, if you want to improve yourself, sometimes it costs money. Now, it, it even costs research, okay, or time. Now, YouTube's a great avenue for that. Um, use your skills, dig into the videos, watch the videos, they're there. You might not, you, you know, there's little nuggets in all the videos. Sometimes they're five minutes long, 10 minutes long, 20 minutes long, whatever. You're gonna get something out of them. Somebody took the time to make that video, take the time to watch it, if it's something that you're interested in. So, anyway, just a little vlog, rambling about the bridal show. Here's some pictures from the bridal show. Hopefully this wasn't too long of a video. All right, take a look. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, let me know about the uh, spitting signs. I thought that was a pretty cool little idea. Um, and actually, I'm going to integrate that into some of my, my uh, weddings and do, instead of mirror balls, I'm going to do, you know, their names up, in, up on logo boards or I'm going to do uh, corporate clients with their logo on top of it. Um, it's just some eye-catching kind of thing. So some things you can use with that. All right, DJ Mikey Mike, take a look. Peace. Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike and Direct Sound, and we're here at the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds at their bridal show. And I'll show you the booth, we'll look, take a look at it. We'll come from the side a little bit. I had to do a little adjusting. We have our vertical sign mounts rotating with our long banners. Uh, Uplighting against the back wall, we're using the Chauvet uh, Freedom Pars. And in the trussing, we really pop super nice, is the uh, American DJ QA 38. All amazing for the truss. Looks really good. The black skirted those. Uh, up lighting against the back, we did white pipe and drape instead of everyone else's black pipe and drape. So that kind of stands out. Looks pretty elegant. Speakers stand out, make us look like a DJ. So I think that should work out pretty good. 
running uh, just a video on the back. We got our brochures. And our folders. And we should be good to go. So we'll see you in a little bit. Let me go get changed. And uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. 